You want some chocolate milk? You sure? Good morning. It's gonna be another fun day. Let's see what trouble we can get into. My name is Mike Mathis. I've been with Any Hour now three and a half years, going on four. It'll be four years in December. We are heading to Murray. My understanding, it's a dental office. They've got two units uh, that are not working. One that's not working at all, and one that's just not keeping up. So we're gonna go over there and see what this is all about. Good. I'm Mike with Any Hour. This is Spencer. He's tagging along, filming me today. <laughs> I understand you've got some air conditioning yes, trouble. Don't you feel it yes, I do. Are the units up on the roof? Okay. And do we have a stationary ladder or? Oh, cool. Let's see where that's at. Sweet. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get. I'm gonna go grab some tools. We'll get up on the roof. I'm glad that they've got a stationary ladder and we don't have to set anything up. All right. We're going to take this guy, this guy, and this guy. So this one's obviously running. We can see the condensation from the unit. So we're gonna focus on this one. Hot, hot, hot. There's our blower. So this, this is our blower motor here. The dentist was saying that they weren't getting any airflow, nothing was really working. And this wheel and motor just totally seized up. But when I'm spinning it, you can hear it just dragging and grinding away. So that's, that's our issue. So we need to call our York distributor, see what availability we have for a motor and wheel. We just got off the phone with uh, our distributor for York. Uh, they told us that the parts are at least two weeks out. So we'll see what these uh, customers want to do and we'll go from there. So this is definitely going to be a custom option. Normally we would break these options down, but they need the entire assembly. Thank what you. other questions, if anything, do you have? Let us know if he wants to try to get the parts or get a supervisor out here. We're, we're happy to do whatever they want, okay? okay. Okay, awesome. thank, thank you. you. Yep, you have a great day now. Uh, we will. All right, so we're gonna head out to uh, Salt Lake here. Uh, we've got a customer that says that their uh, system is not cooling the home. So we're gonna go uh, check that out and see what we can do uh, for them today. So I understand this has been it's giving been you. For like three weeks and, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it, it, they just can't really get to the root cause of what the actual issue is. Okay, let's check this out. Hey, cat. And then the actual AC unit is on the top of the um, roof. Top of the okay. All right, we're gonna open this up and just see what this looks like in here. communicating but it's not kicking it on okay, let me go back out to the thermostat and check one other thing there so what we're going to do is just take these out and uh, jumper them on i'm going to grab a jumper wire and uh, we're going to 
see what we can if we can get it to kick on so it's coming out the thermostat is wired into this main bus and then comes out and just plugs right into the board so right now what it's looking like is that we're not getting uh, 24 volts uh, to our thermostat um, so they've got this funky setup um, where they've got a secondary transformer here and it doesn't appear like we're getting the power through I'm gonna come back another day when, with more information I've talked with the landlady and we are either going to fix this or we're going to replace it. On that last job, it's a Mitsubishi air handler with another head. So it's two, two units and that uh, thermostat was never communicating with the air handler. Some of the wiring and the way it was set up it just never was set up correctly. So we're gonna have a supervisor go out and give some options on getting some new equipment and get it done correctly. So we are heading up to Roy. The uh, customer said that this unit has not been running properly for the last several years. So we're gonna go and, and see what we can make happen for this customer, see if we can get this old equipment running again. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm Mike. I understand the air conditioner is not working. Yes. Okay. Hi there, sweetie. Okay. Yes. How long so, have you been having trouble? Well, yeah. uh, we have a long history actually okay. because we moved in like two years ago, two and a half. Okay. What we're going to do now is just go downstairs, check the filter and a couple things down there. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. That, that should be changed every month. Yep, every month to three months. What I'd like to do actually is probably get outside. Then we'll get some uh, gauges from the van and uh, see exactly what the uh, refrigerant level is. There's, there's some in there. We have some refrigerant, so that's a good sign. We're gonna go ahead and take our panel off and look at our electrical components, and then we'll get it started. I'm looking at the contactor and the capacitor. So one of the things that I want to do is to get my eyes on the capacitor, and the reason for that is I wanna see if it's bulging or anything like that. We should see a reading, usually these are 30 or 35.5 or higher, and we've got zero. Nothing, nothing on that meter. It is indeed bulged. So we have a, we have a back capacitor, and I'll show you what I mean. So we can see the top here, it should be flat, and it's bulging up. I'm just gonna go grab a capacitor from the van we're gonna throw it on. So now that we've got the new one, you can see how it's flat and see the difference. This one's bulging and ballooned out and this one's flat. Let's look at what our inrush current was. It was at 54. So now let's compare that with our nameplate on the door no more than 64 when it starts. So we're good, we're at 54. We've got that wired in. We know our contactor is good. Now I'm not doing a deep clean. That's why I'm not pulling the top and going from the inside out. I'm just trying to knock this dirt off to see what my pressures are. I'm not trying to get a deep clean on this unit. It has probably never been washed off. This is 410A, so on a hot day like today, we should see it, you know, around 350. So far, it's starting to level out. We're getting close to that 400 PSI, but we've got a huge load inside, so seeing it get to that pressure is not concerning at all. It 
it's running. It's running. Okay, so what was the problem? You had a capacitor uh, that was uh, had failed. So you had no refrigerant flowing, no fan spinning outside, yeah. and it couldn't, it just wasn't working. It wasn't turning on at all. So the last customer was a pretty simple diagnosis, um, a bad capacitor, dirty condensing coil, but the capacitor was able to get them going for today. So it's been uh, a decent day, interesting to say the least. Overall, I think the customers understand what's going on with their equipment. We're taking the proper steps to make sure that they're cooling or getting new equipment. So uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how some of these play out over the next few days. Overall, decent day. All right, well, we made it through the day. Thanks for riding along, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.